And we begin with Seattle's Capitol Hill organized protest, where traffic is once again prevented from entering that area. And good evening. I'm Steve Rabel. And I'm Monique Minglobin. Protesters made the sudden decision to halt traffic this afternoon. Now, this is the intersection that is now blocked. It's at 13th and Pine in the heart of the CHOP zone and where the East Precinct is located nearby. Kara Sevens, Ryan Sims is there live right now. Ryan, how's the situation at this point? Well, the good news, Monique, is that it has been peaceful uh, up until now. Uh, and uh, But you can still see that this is one of the barricades we were talking about. It has since been scooted off to the side here in the last few minutes. So as of right now, it seems like at least some traffic can pull in through here. Uh, but then there is this barricade right here that is acting kind of as a barricade uh, to the rest of the chop. So clearly things are still changing essentially minute by minute here in this area. Our cameras caught the ever-changing nature of the chop. Suddenly today, people picked up and moved the barriers again that had been here since Tuesday. Hey, where are we going? I'm going that away. Okay, I'm, I'm just trying not to run just, over nobody. Just to let you know in the future, okay? Yep. The result, no traffic is allowed through here yet again. None of the people moving these barricades wanted to be interviewed. Off camera, they told us they were blocking traffic as a way to shift the core message back to Black Lives Matter. They insisted emergency traffic would still be allowed through here. Earlier in the day, protesters admitted that this is an evolving situation. This is an experiment happening here, and it's a little chaotic. Like they say, democracy is messy. Well, this right now is, is, is a little bit messy. The number of people here, as you see in these shots, has gradually dwindled since last weekend. Yet those who are still here say much remains to be done. It's so much bigger than just defunding the police. It's about where did that six trillion dollars go that was just sent out in the stimulus package. I mean, you could have given a hundred billion of that to address racial inequality, racial disparities. The CHOP remained peaceful all day today, even as protesters insist their purpose is as forceful as ever. The people need something to unite them and to, to have a better awareness and understanding of each other's differences. And this, this is a place for that. And taking a live look at the main area of the shop. As for the things happening here tonight, we are told that uh, there is going to be another march. It will be happening here at the shop and heading to the West Precinct. Uh, organizers tell us that that march will be happening at 730 tonight. We are live in Capitol Hill this evening. Ryan Sims, Cairo 7 News.